Uh, I'm Akanksha. I'm part of New Relic from past six months and I have around 10 years of uh, experience in digital experience industry. And uh, if I'm not working in an IT company, I'd like to create jewelry um, just, just you know, uh, from uh, paper or anything uh, um, like bottles. And I would like to let um, Ganesh introduce himself. Sure, okay. Uh, am I audible to everyone? Audible, yeah? Is everyone still awake? Yes. It was a good lunch, is it? I see some people looking at phones, some of them working, some of them yawning. Even before I introduce myself, let's do a small activity. Stand up. Stand up, everyone, come on. Stand up. I say one, two, three, and then you give me a clap, okay? One, two, I didn't say three. <laughs> one, two, three. One, two, three. Awesome, sit down. Thank you so much, thank you so much. So um, you guys already saw me in the morning, I was talking about CodeStream, um, and like I'm a Relic, I work for New Relic. If I'm not, uh, along with working with New Relic, I am also an aspiring stand-up artist. Yes, yes, there you go, there you go, someone's <laughs> clapping, awesome. Maybe probably next time you may see me on stage trying my terrible jokes in an open mic, okay? All of you, all of you are invited, <laughs> all of you are invited, all right? Do I? I have, a, I have a gray hair as well, I just dyed it. See, yeah, awesome. Uh, so great, um, I will let Akanksha kick things off and we'll talk, we'll talk. Thanks Ganesh. Um, so before we get started, just a quick question. Um, I expect an obvious answer, but how many of you actually use your phone since morning, like maybe 100 times? Um, I think everyone, everyone. yeah, the app coming, by Ola on, on the way, great. So everyone uses apps on their phones. You'll have hundreds of apps on your phone. What happens if your app is not doing great, if it is slow, not you know, uh, really quick to what you want? Blame the devil. <laughs> Blame the devil. <laughs> okay, and, uh, and also you install, uninstall it in how many minutes? Seconds? 30 seconds. And what if you don't do? You'll be this, you, that's what you exactly want to do to your phone. No? Not, <laughs> not, not, phone. not everyone would do that. <laughs> Lots of iPhone users, I guess. <laughs> so that's what whole digital industry is concerned about. They don't want you to do anything to your phone like that. Um, but they are really concerned about, uh, they are concerned about you uninstalling their apps. And that's what developers, SREs, all these companies are doing. That, and that's exactly what we are going to talk about, digital customer experience, how end users perceive it, how you would like to um, you know, provide that. And before that, we uh, would like to share the agenda with you. Um, we'll talk about digital footprint of India, where and how many users are actually using um, internet every day, uh, what is digital customer experience, the value of it, metrics that matter, and the power of data visualization. So let's get started. Uh, currently, 86% of our, um, our population actually is already on digital platforms. Uh, we have seen lots of government uh, initiatives as well around this. And on an average, everyone in this room will be spending around 14 hours or more um, on their phones per week. Now, we have also observed that there has been increase of 28% uh, on retail shopping by last year, and year on year increase, we can observe that. Currently, the revenue from online e-commerce market, um, all of us contributing to it, um, is $75 billion, and by 2025, it's estimated to be 84 billion. So, since you're, um, you're quite silent for a while, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. When did you shop last time? Last week, bought these nice shoes. Smart shoes. Yeah, bought these nice shoes on um, one of the famous e-commerce application. Most of you already know that. They had a sale event recently, and I bought these shoes, I got it for a very good discount. Great, and as an end user, uh, digitally, what was your experience? Oh, my experience was really, good compared to what it was last year mm -hmm. because 
the recommendations were good. I was able to search for the product that I want and the order went very smooth and I was able to place the order. I, of course, I got, the, I got my order delivered in like one day. So yeah, that was awesome. Awesome. And that's guys, digital customer experience is all about. Um, so I'll just share what the world has to say. Uh, it refers to the total of the online interaction and customer has, uh, you know, with, with your brand. Now it can be your mobile sites, uh, it can be your mobile apps, anything that you have on, on internet, let it be your chatbots, support. And uh, that that's what anything that you have as a touch point that is virtual. Did, that, did, that. did you just read out everything on the slide? I did. No, 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 you have to dump it down. I know all of these people are smart here. <laughs> I am not smart. You have to dump it down, explain it to me properly. Sure. In my language. Sure, let me take that route. Um, so when you actually browse any app and if it is slow, um, that's, that's what you're contributing to a digital customer experience. If it is really fast, then it's a good digital customer experience. Basically, if an end user is actually going through your website or mobile app seamlessly without any issues, oh, the page is not loading, the products are not um, coming very quickly. That's what all comes to customer experience. And if you want to summarize it, if you see something went wrong, it's not exciting for a customer. Time to interactive, which should be once, uh, less than one second. So if it goes from, um, you know, from a, a one second to maybe five seconds, that's, that makes a happy customer a frustrated one. And that's what we are talking about, a seamless experience for the end users. I'm sure you'll also have some expectation if you browse the website and things are not working. So just a few insights that will really annoy you uh, when you're on the site. Yeah, maybe when I'm placing an order, if the app crashes, then that would be a, I'm gonna ditch that application. I'm never using that again. Yeah, app crashes or some error that I would see, or maybe a payment failure. Yeah, all of those are like, Turn off for me. And, and that's what the uh, digital customer experience will end up being. Loss in revenue or if you have great customer experience, more revenue. Um, and going forward, uh, these are the digital markers that a developer should be concerned about, a company should be concerned about. Uh, we talk about two different uh, significant profiles. One is the developers, DevOps, SRE. We should be concerned about, they should be concerned about load times and errors. If you're getting 4XX, 5XX, or if you're observing any payment issues, that's something that comes to the developer's side. Now, load times, if the website is really slow, that's another concern. And once this is being con uh, taken care of by EMs, by developers, uh, next profile is the CXOs. Let it be your uh, CEO, your marketing team, they will be more concerned about revenue and brand, brand sentiment. And these are the things that matter, though they are different personas we're talking about, they are kind of correlated. If you have lots of errors, there won't be any revenue. Or there might be revenue, but not a lot of one. And uh, brand sentiment, um, you can all recognize the Twitter, yeah, Twitter's um, feeds over there that actually comes to brand sentiment. So that's, that's how you can, uh, measure your uh, measure your uh, website performance or app performance now you have been into in the industry for a very long time and you have been part of e-commerce pharma uh, what are your thoughts about it what are the issues that you have seen you you ask me a lot of questions so right inside for this um let's let's take it as an example right so um let's say i am trying to place an order on one of the e-commerce websites right I want the order to be placed fine. And just in case, just in case, let's say the order payment, the order failed, placing the order failed, right? The first thing that I would look at is, did the money get deducted from my bank account or not, right? God forbid, let's say the money got deducted. What's the first thing that I'm doing? Picking up the phone, calling the customer care, right? So from my side, I'm talking to an executive for like two to three minutes. I would be like, ah, this is fine for the company. But what's happening on the other side of the table? The company is actually spending six to twelve dollars for the two to three minute of conversation that you are doing with one of their executives. So, making sure that your app does not have any failures is the revenue for the company or cost optimization for the company, right? Not just this, there is also a fact that you can see which says the check processing. If you're going into a bank, giving a check to withdraw the money, it's five times more expensive than a digital payment. 
right? Because they have to maintain the bank branch, someone should be sitting there, taking your check, stamping it and then giving it back to you. It's five times expensive, right? And another classic example, if you know recently you must have seen, Shopperstop closed a lot of offline branches. Why did they do that? Because maintaining an offline branch is super expensive compared to giving better digital experience for the customer through the mobile app so they can place the order quick. And they're still doing the same revenue, right? Reduce the cost, reduce the cost of maintenance, but reaching to a lot of lot more of lot more customers, right? So everything depends and then brings you back to the revenue of the organization, right? So um, I also want to share you a couple of things here, right? So we we looked at what what digital experience is, how much time do you actually spend on your mobile to do some shopping? I think most of you guys are not agreeing when Akanksha said 14 hours you spend on the mobile. I'm telling you, go to your mobile, go to digital well-being, and then look at the time that you spend this week. I'm pretty sure it's more than 14 hours, right? So we look at we look at all of these things, and then we know that what works, what does not work, right? So now let's talk about how are you going to measure this stuff. I'm going to quickly talk through like four different types of metrics here: the browser metrics, mobile metrics, synthetics, and APM metrics. Right? You're all very smart. You know all of this already on your Webex, right? From what do you get from browser metrics is the web vitals. From mobile, you would get the insights into how your Android app is performing, how your iOS app is performing, what are the number of crashes you have. Synthetics is more of proactive monitoring that you have, and it tells you how you can focus on your key business transaction success rate, right? APM summary, you all know about it. Response time, throughput, latency, and all of that. So now you have all of this information that's available with you, right? Once you have all of this information available with you, you're sending all of this to New Relic, and how are you going to read this? Do you want to put it in like a raw file and then take a look at that? Obviously you don't, right? You send it to New Relic, you have a big flat file, and we give you saying that, hey, here is your flat file, all the data that you gave us, read it. Of course you're not going to read it, right? That's where the power of visualization comes into picture, right? If I give you a two-page story of explaining how a dog is running on the road, you take 30 seconds, then go to your own imagination. You might imagine a brown dog or a black dog. It could be a good road or it can be a highway. It's totally up to you. But what if I give you an actual picture of what I want to communicate? A brown dog, golden retriever running in a park, right? Just a jiffy that you would understand what it is. And that's the power of visualization. And few facts that I would like to read about here is, most of the data that your, the human brain perceives is mostly from the images, not the text. It's always the images, right? 90% of the data that you get is always images. So that's the importance of how visualizations can impact you. So now I'm going to hand it over to Akanksha to, to talk about how, what are the different types of visualizations we have and how they can give you insights on your app performance, your business metrics, and overall, how that can impact your overall digital customer experience. Over to you. Thanks, Ganesh, for all these insights. Um, we'll talk about the promise of power of visualization to be shared towards the end. So, uh, we'll and let me know if you um, you already know about app decks. Um, just just raise your hand if you're already. Okay, great. Few of you already know that. Uh, now, app decks is one of the uh, ways to actually measure how happy your customers are, how satisfied uh, your end users are, and what is the percentage, percentage around this. Um, this particular metric is not a, you know, a particular number, like the page downloads within five seconds or 500 milliseconds. Uh, this is basically a ratio. And here you can see that AppDeck score uh, helps you to understand how many of users are actually happy, what is the bounce rate of your uh, pages, applications, and this helps you to understand how your even web services are doing. Now, this had been there for a while, but Google recently, uh, not recently, it came up with these core web vitals two years back. Um, first input delay, how quickly you can actually enter something. Cumulative layout shift, how your layout actually varies from when you navigate from one page to another. And largest contentful paint how much or how quickly uh, the heaviest object on the page is getting downloaded. And these are the core web vitals that most of the companies are using nowadays to actually evaluate their website's performance or app's performance. And that is exactly what we would also like to share. 
uh, availability, um, you know, quick uh, time to first byte had been there for a while. But these core web vitals also will help you to get ranked on the Google search engine. Now here what you can see is how all your pages are doing. But that's not what you would like to understand if there is an issue. You would like to understand what's happening to different functionalities of your website or app here. And you can actually focus, as we mentioned, with um, if you have your uh, entities configured, you can actually understand how much of the traffic is actually on the login page, how many of users are actually coming to your login functionality. And then you can understand different aspects about it. And you can also work on improving it, something that we'll discuss about at the later stage. Another very important aspect that um, customer experience gets into play is that uh, you can actually understand from where your traffic is coming from. Should you focus on Delhi, Mumbai, and these are few insights that your company will also uh, appreciate if you can provide that, and how much profit you're making. That's another thing that your companies will be interested about. What we are trying to do over here, or showcase over here, is to um, you know, correlate the performance of the websites or apps to the revenue that is being created. How many failed payments you could see. Now these are few things that once instrumented will help you to understand where your developers should need to focus on. What are the bottlenecks? If you are not getting revenue, if there is a cooling period, there is no traffic or there is actually an issue on your site. So this actually gives you a really clear view without going to three different applications trying to figure out what's happening. And so far whatever you have seen is something that you can just create it with a click away. Um, it's really simple to configure. But what we are showing over here is a nerd pack. You can actually customize the views that you see over here. Um, we just showed that, lo lo um, that you can see login uh, going fine and then you can see the payment. But what about the different steps that you can see over here? You log in, you actually place an order, make a payment. Where exactly your end users are suffering? Which team needs to take a look at it? Now this is something that we have created for one of the clients um, and this gives you a quick picture. Now the advantage of this is that it's already available for all our existing um, customers because it's there under app already configured so you can actually just do a click and create some view of this on your site as well. And that's how you can create lots of customization or visualization on uh, New Relic. That's pretty much uh, from our side in the, in the visualization, though there's a lot of options that you can uh, explore. I would like to ask Ganesh if you have anything to add over here. Yeah, I mean, we spoke a lot about this session and then I also claimed that I'm going to be a stand-up artist. So this session deserves a meme, is it? Okay, even before we look at the meme, digital customer experience is just not a happy customer. What else is it? Anyone? Bad customer experience, yeah, I mean. Explain it, you're getting too technical, buddy. Yeah, brand, yes, and also revenue, direct impact on the revenue. Thank you. Uh, you are not able to see what's below this, but then that says it's a direct impact on the revenue. Sorry for the screen resolution. All right, uh, thank you so much, everyone.